today we shall be on encouraging ways. And uh, we shall dwell on the forgiveness. Hallelujah. What is forgiveness? You have many for your forgiveness, but what my Bible made me to understand when you read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation, forgiveness means that God looks at you as if you had never sinned. Are you with me? Tell your neighbor, God looks at you as if you had never sinned. That's it. When you receive his forgiveness, you are blameless before him. Let him put it in that way. You are what? That is when you receive his forgiveness, you are blameless before him. God's forgiveness does not sweep your sin under the carpet. Instead, he completely washes them away. Your friend may say, I forgive you, and tomorrow and say, oh, no, no, no. His forgiveness completely washes your sin away. Let's quickly look at that book of Matthew 5. 44. But I say to you, love your enemy, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who what? Spitefully use you, that is, belittle you. Forgiveness paves the way. Take note of that. Forgiveness what? Paves the way for harmonious relationship, even with your enemy. Let's quickly look at some bordering question, very important question. How can I forgive someone who has hurt me deeply? How can you forgive someone who has hurt you Deeply, how can you? Let's go to the book of Matthew 6, 14, 15. How can you forgive someone who has hurt you deeply? For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, Neither will your Father in heaven forgive you your sin. He has answered our question that how can you forgive someone who has hurt you so deeply? If you forgive someone who sinned against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your heavenly father will not forgive your sin. If you forgive someone who sinned against you, your heavenly father will forgive you. If you refuse to forgive others, your Father in heaven will not forgive your sin. How does this strike your mind? Being unwilling to forgive shows that you have not understood or benefited 
from God's forgiveness. If you have been forgiven, that forgiveness will create in you a forgiving heart towards others. Tell your neighbor, if you have been forgiven, that forgiveness will create in you a forgiving heart towards others. Back to that Matthew 5.44. It says, Love your enemy and bless those who curse you. That is, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. How does this appear to you? When you love your enemy and pray for those who hate you, this releases you from the destructive emotions of anger. This releases you from what? From the destructive emotions of anger, bitterness, revenge, and others. If you love your enemy, your neighbor, your neighbor could be your enemy, could be those who do not share the same faith with you. If you love them, this releases you from the destructive emotions of anger, bitterness, and others. Can I say the importance of love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you? Let's quickly look at our Lord Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 23, number 34. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Wow. Jesus forgave even those who mocked and killed him, even those who mocked and killed him. We should be more concerned about our offenders and their relationship with God. We should be more. We should be more concerned about our offenders and their relationship with God and less about not seeing our own grudges and self pity that is ill will. Tell your neighbor, we should be more concerned about our offenders and their relationship with God and their relationship with God and less about not seeing our own grudges and ill will. I should be more concerned because the person most hurt by unforgiveness is you. As a Christian, when you have something against your fellow brother, you are not settled, you are disturbed in your heart. You cannot go to God for any prayer. It's our code to decode the need for forgiveness. And unforgiving attitude not only destroy 
your relationship, but also poison your soul. The person most hurt by unforgiveness is you. Not your enemy. It's hurt you more than your enemy. Because when you, I will not forgive. I will not forgive him. I will not forgive him. And you're a Christian. There's no way you can pray. Even if you pray, you only hear yourself. God will not hear you. Because I know it is, it's really hitting you and bothering you. Because it's like I'm talking to you. I think this thing really hit. It hit. If it hit, let me see your hand. It hit. That is, the person most hurt by unforgiveness is you. Open the first Peter chapter 3 verse 9. It says, Don't repay evil for evil. Don't retaliate with hurt. Instead, when people hurt you, pay them back with blessing. When people hurt you, pay them back with what? Blessing. With blessing. That is what God has called us to do. And he will bless us for it. Please, let's go to the book of Ephesians 4, verse 31. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, and evil speak be put away from you with all malice. Let's read together. Are you there? Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Hmm. You listen to that? Let all bitterness, all. What does this mean? Mean when people say hurtful things about you, God wants us to respond by blessing them. Tell your neighbor, when people say hurtful things about you, God wants us to respond by blessing them. Look at the case of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus forgave even those who mocked and killed him. It's a lesson to every one of us. And what is the lesson for you and I? We should be more concerned about our offenders and their relationship with God. And less about not seeing our own grudges and self pity, I mean, ill will. If you fail to receive forgiveness and forgive those who sin against you, you also will find yourself in a torture chamber. You will find yourself having to be everything, do everything, and accomplish everything. Totally on your own strength, ability, and intelligence. And since that is, that is never possible, you will be under high stress and emotional torture.
high stress and emotional torture. I mean, you work and struggle greatly, but never, never achieve any progress. You will run in the morning, run in the afternoon, even if you achieve, before you know it, it's for boom. You go up, down. These are the cause of unforgivable spirit. Grudging against your fellow brother. If you become great and you have something against your fellow brother, it means that greatness will be used against your fellow brother. Being unwilling to forgive shows that you have not understood or benefited from God's forgiveness. Then you also find yourself in a torture chamber. You will find yourself having to be everything, do everything, accomplish everything, totally on your own strength, ability, and intelligence. Who needs forgiveness? Rise up. Right now, bow down your head. First, forgive yourself. And before you can forgive those who sin against you, begin to forgive yourself. And forgive those who sin against you. Forgive yourself. And forgive those who sin against you. Maintenant, baissez la tête et priez. Pardonnez-vous vous-même et pardonnez ceux qui vont vous offenser. Empiece a perdonarse y a perdonar a los que lo han ofendido. It is only by the mercy and compassion of God 